Hi guys, uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a while since I started doing collection videos of my Lego and um, I thought I might have needed to make another channel for um, all this stuff um, however, I'm not going to be showing everything I have because um, I've got so much die cast stuff you know, big die casts and Hot Wheels and you name it I was doing it back in, started in 2006, so I got a whole lot of speed, speed racer stuff, and um, yeah, I wish I'd gotten the speed racer Lego now, but um, that's another story. So um, I'm, I'm glad I'm into the Lego now. However, this is not a Lego movie. This is um, my Transformer collection. Um, a few guys that I um, connect with on the YouTube um, do Transformers as well and I was just hoping to show those guys what I had. It's nothing as elaborate as what they have and um, I did look at buying some new Transformers just recently in the last month or two and man the prices are just crazy for the tiny little thing you get compared to... Um, I, I brought battery operated stuff um, when the first and second movie, might have been the second movie came out, they'd done toys for it. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll um, see if we can find a date on there somewhere. Not that I know when the first Transformer movie was done. But anyhow, before that, I, um, I think I may have found the original Transformer, which wasn't a Transformer. Now, some of you guys might know about this. Um, it's the Daitan 3. Um, Invincible Steel Man. Um, here's a toy made in 1984 um, from a TV show that ran in Japan from 78. And um, I brought this on Trade Me here in New Zealand. And um, I, the, I, the moment I opened it, I was um, very disappointed. And um, it was one of the first things I'd brought on Trade Me, and I was um, a bit new to it. I wasn't really sure what I was doing, and um, I should have really gotten in touch with the um, seller because I think he sold me a bit of a dud. So I've never really, like, I got it out once when um, I first got it, but uh, yeah, I wasn't happy. And what happened was um, these little clips came flying out um, of the robot as I um, tried to open his chest cavity. Now it is hard to open and um, yeah, um, it's, uh, well it's a lot easier now that there's just one hinge but I actually struggled to open it the first time and I wondered if I'd broken it myself. But then looking back at the pictures that the um, chap had to sell this, see, 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 how, see how I'm struggling to get that to move? That one went easy. But um, you, when you make them into, um, I think it was... Um, this vehicle here, he had a picture of it made up on the carpet and you could see that his chest cavity was um, open like that. See, see how it's hanging open when it should really be clicked together? Those, those four hinges, it's only two now, those four hinges should have been enough to hold it shut and uh, yeah and like I say, his picture, sorry about the bad light, um, the picture was, you know, you could see that his chest cavity was swinging open like that, and uh, that should have been a clue for me straight away, but like I say, I was, um, I was just new to, to this, trade me stuff, and I was like, oh, did I do that myself, or did that happen, you know, was, did he send me that already broken? And, uh, yeah, who knows. I should have really questioned him. Um, I think it came with a, a sticker sheet. 
and you um, put everything together so there's um, there's small wheels these uh, these little ones have got a um, steel steel run wheel under them you get two of those um, you get a couple of fists that you can click in click into him and um, shoot them out I should really be doing a review of this but um, I've actually promised this to someone and um, I just wanted to show it quickly before I was no longer in my um, presence and uh, yeah and I'm getting rid of it because I am just disappointed about those hinges I don't you know I don't know how you would uh, so what you do is um, there's instructions to um, to make them, you know, fold them up into um, all his bits, and you can turn them into a tank. There's better pictures on the box. So you can make them into that tank. That that silver bit down there is his um, spear coming right through. So pretend that's not there. Sorry. So put that that piece there. Pretend that's not there. And in this photo, you can see his chest hanging open. And uh, yeah, I should have been. Um, a, you know, it could have been my telltale sign. But hey, you learn as you go and. I'm just, uh, I was a beginner back then and I didn't really know what to do. There's no date on the box, but I had a look, uh, I, I wikied it and um, found out a few um, few bits and pieces. I don't know if I can... Have them up there. So he's, the um, toy was made in 1984 in Japan. The show ran in Japan from 78 to 86 I think it was and it was called The Invincible Steel Man Dytron 3 and um, they were on Mars and um, he was made of all these special metals from Mars and um, the toy actually has steel plastic die cast and some ABS plastic in there to make him and um, there was a scientist that had made these robots, Mega Mega Non Noids, sorry, Mega Noids, yeah. And um, because they were free thinking, um, they decided to kill the professor and his family and take over the robot. Except the boy, the young boy, apparently in the story, from the family, he escapes with Dytron. And um, gets to back to Earth. Now, now in comparison to that, made in '84, started in '78. The Transformers, as we know it from Hasbro, the um, show started in 1984, and um, I don't know how long it was out for, but later that year, it says in September of '84, they started doing the toys. So. Um, I think this could be one of our first Transformer toys, possibly, guys. I don't know uh, what you think of that. But, um, oh, this is what I store my stuff, all, all my Lego, and I've got a few other things like us and other toys, you know. Um, brought a few of the Buzz Lightyears and the Woodies, two Woodies, and I think I've got two two buzzers. I brought the first one that came out. The buzz that it came in a rocket ship that you could build like in the show, which was quite cool. So yeah, my ceiling's full of these sort of things. The biggest Skippy Cornflakes boxes and a couple of 300 gram ones and just any big box. So, uh, kids chips there for their lunch boxes. But yeah, these, these big ones are the best. And I just, I have to cut them down down to that length because uh, that's how tall the hole is into my uh, ceiling so um, yeah 
So I'll just show you, uh, the, these are all in there, but I have taken these out to remove the batteries after, um, like I set them on my um, shelf in the lounge and push the button from time to time. We'll, uh, we'll get rid of Dichon for now. He can uh, come back later on maybe. But the first one I got was um, the Ultimate Bumblebee, which was a fantastic set. I honestly don't know, unless there's a price on them, what I paid for them. It was expensive. I think it was nearing $200 here. And um, it's a little bit different to one came out in the US before this, apparently. Or, or it, it did. And um, you can see reviews of that. It's got a slightly different box. And um, it, says, it sings a different song, I think. I think its catchphrases may be the same, but um, there's a different song that's sung. So I don't know why they did that, but um, let's, I'll just, there should be a date on here somewhere, hopefully. Someone might see it before me. Uh, his, uh, ba -da -da, can't see it. No. If anyone can, it should really be on there somewhere. Sorry, did I knock the camera? Here we go, 2008. Just in there, 208. I don't know if I'm, we must have got them in 208. Could have been on 209, not in New Zealand. A lot better today, but yeah, it used to be a little bit slower back then. So, had to have Bumblebee. He's cool, and um, he's got this mask that's underneath. You lift up his head, and this mask comes out. His battle mask. Uh, he was the biggest one. And... Now this might have been from a, um, a movie at a different time, I'm not sure. Uh, this is, oh no, Revenge of the Fallen, both of them. Jetfire. They, um... They find him in the Smithsonian Smithsonian um, is that in focus? Smithsonian what are they called? Museum and uh, yeah he's a bit of a hard case, it's a Scottish chap very cool Love the blackbird, so, you know, it's a bit of a must-have. His, uh, his walking stick's the landing gear, which is quite cool. And, uh, sorry, so that's our, uh, I'll put it down there. It's, um, holding it's just too close. So there's our blackbird when we've transformed them. I haven't actually transformed any of these. I just opened them up and took the battery out. So that uh, indicates something there. Take it. Not sure what, but. Let's see if I can get that on if anyone wants to have a pause and a read. Hopefully it's all on there. Very cool. I like this one. I'd like I'd like to buy more of them, but yeah, they are a little bit different than this today. Now, I've got more figures, but um, I also was into buying some of the little 
um, ones. This was a favourite of mine, the ice cream truck. I was so happy when I found this. There was like only one or two of these in our city. So, uh, yeah, very, very happy when I got it. I think it's just so cute. And uh, this is the boys before they transform into some modern car. Transformers 2, I think, eh? Hey? Revenge of the Fallen. Let's see if I can... Uh, see I'm just... A bit zoomed in too much there. And the next one... Oh, just a little of one again. Now, I can't remember this little chat. Ransack. Very cool. Revenge of the Fallen again. This is your back of the box. Has uh I don't know if I'll uh get it start over here. Anyone can read that or wants to read it, you're more than welcome. Pause away. 208. These toys must have all been there. Not too many more. And I brought this one after I'd brought another one that has a small version of the sand crab thing in it. Now that was fantastic watching this thing uh, bolt through the desert. Yeah, the box you know, sort of hinders the view of it. But yeah, very cool. Striker score pon ponna. Yeah, someone else can pronounce that better than me. <laughs> Good on ya. And this, I love helicopters. And this is, uh, this is the set that has the uh, miniature Scorpio on it. I don't know if, um, where is he? Yes, but bit hidden. Bit of freaking top. But yeah, what a cool set. Helicopter. Loved the helicopter when it flew in and transformed. Can we see the front of it? Sort of. But uh, yeah, there's our toy. Don't know if it looks quite as cool as that. They they make them look good on this uh, the back of the box. And this is what our robot looks like. Fantastic. It was one of my favourite part of the movies. And there's our, there's your little scorpion you get with the set. It's quite detailed. And he hops inside and I think you just drop him out. There's probably reviews of all these toys on the net if anyone wants to go looking for them. I won't be reviewing them because... Oh, this one's got a price. At Farmers, $55. Let's just uh, see if we missed any. That one hasn't got one. Oh, yep. Yeah, 30 bucks for our ice cream truck. Scorpo, $29 as well. I'm sure Bumblebee hasn't got one at all. So, it was, uh, I don't know if it's from one movie. It's, uh, hopefully there'll be a name on there. Box. There's only three in here, so 
Not too many more guys. Optimus Prime. Had to have an Optimus. So that's just actually I'll I'll hold him up. Optimus is cool. He's got this flame on the top. I wish there was batteries in there so I could push the buttons. I didn't even think of making videos way back when I was buying this stuff. That's the truck he turns into. Very cool. And the man. Or the robot man. Optimus. Revenge of the Fallen. So, same movie. I'm pretty sure one of these is from another movie, but hey. No one to be wrong. I'm not shy to admit it. And what's the use of having a goodie if you haven't got the baddie Megatron? So, uh, yeah, he's cool. I can't remember what he says. He's got tank for feet, so he, uh, he turns into the tank. Very cool. And there's our robot. Decepticon. Badass. Looks like his chest lights up. And his eyes too, I think. Very cool. So happy I got these when they were around. Because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what they'd be worth to replace. Probably not too much. I don't know how they sell. Oh. And this one, he's, uh, it came in another colour, and it, like, you can, I'll put this one, um, on the deck. Big. So, constructed devastator. Just phenomenal. And uh, his uh, face opens up. And that's, that's where he sucks, I suppose. Doesn't open much, but makes noises and stuff when you do that. And um, he is made up of, uh, see, see that one's there? That one there looks like it's next to that green one. The concrete mixer which would turn into his head somehow. Like I say, I'm sure if you guys look on YouTube, uh, someone's bound to have a review of these. Um, I think I'll go and have a look actually. So, uh, what have we got there? Scavenger. Looks like just like a front end bucket thing. So what, what have we got here? Let's read them off. Sorry. Long haul, scraper, mix master, scavenger, sorry, all over the place, high tower, and rampage. Okay, just uh, let me pan that out again and I'll. Uh, Spin the box around, we'll have a look at the back of the box. I don't think there's too much on the side. Oh, a bit of a blurb. Whoops! If anyone wants to pause and have a read. Let's see what's on the other side.
Well, back of the box is a bit beaten up at the bottom. Never mind. So. He comes onto the shoulder. Oh, he makes the bottom of his arm. He makes a foot. That one makes a foot. Tower becomes some sort of a claw. And uh, is there a picture there of that one? Doesn't say. Construction Devastator Speaks. Oh, I see. Mix Master becomes his head. Cool. This was the coolest thing in the movie. I just loved it. So, you know, I had to, I had to have a toy. It's in a bit of a lineup. Oh, hang on. There's one more that wasn't in those boxes. I had to go looking for this elsewhere. And it is too high. So let me put this big boy over here. And I'll show you this. Final stand it's called. I don't know how many of these little sets they did, but this was the only one we got over here in New Zealand. So, um, we've got Mike's towing and Bumblebee's tied to the back. He actually looks fun, looks like he's smiling. Might be able to zoom in and see that face. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is that a smile? Or not? Hang on. Just let me. D tripod. Maybe not. Looks like a little bit of a smile. And we've got um, that woman, I can't think of what her name was in the show. Uh, Fox is her, I think is her last name, eh? Je oh, not even going to say that because that's a guy. But yeah, you know the girl. She's driving the truck. Those lights obviously pop up and spin out. We'll have a look at the back. It's on the side. Not much. So we've got... Where are we? It definitely looks like he's smiling there. It's a bit, a bit odd. So battle damaged. Bumblebee. The truck turns into long arm. And there he is as his truck with the lights down and you know in play mode. So this was cool. I just uh yeah, I like this one. I had to I'll just run through this for those that Want to have a read? Hang on. Hang on. Try and do it better than that. Get it in one picture. That light sort of not helping. So, that's the Transformers, 
And I'm much jealous of your guys' collections out there. But, um, hey, I'm happy. Very happy to have this lot. I don't know if I'll be um, able to get these all in on a display. Maybe if I do a pan. And possibly the original transformer. We can put on I know up in the helicopter. Righty yo. Don't worry about that. Uh, pan back, move the camera back. And there we go. My Transformers. All from 2008. 98, nine, eight, sorry, 84 for the Ditron. Di, di, tan, tran. Hang on. There's no O, Don Tron. Ditan. Three. Titan three. Samurai Warrior. Looks a bit like Garmadon with that headpiece. Or any Japanese uh, master. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. I've got a haul to do. Um, a couple of big sets. Uh, I hope to get it done within the next couple of days so stay tuned and uh, yeah I'm happy I've got this one up on my, on my channel sorry it's not Lego for those out there that love Lego but hey I love all toys thanks for watching keep cool guys I'll have my camera move did I move it without even knowing what a space cadet Yeah, I'm not going I'm not going to get them in. Anyhow guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Give us a like and a comment. Love to hear your um your verdict on my transformers and uh, nowhere near as cool as the new transformers today, but hey. They're about the ones I looked at were like a little bit smaller than those, not quite half the size, but they're very small and they're like 80 bucks. And, uh, yeah, very expensive. I don't know if there is any prices on these. I wish there was. I should have taken note. Everything I brought, I should have just written down in a little diary what I paid for it. Because it's nice to know. Okay, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in and... Hope you like my Transformers. See ya. Bye.